hotel. Uh, where are you from? No uh, in Ecuador, soy de Ecuador. What do you do for work here in New York? Actualmente no, porque no tengo los, los, la documentación. When did you get to New York? En marzo. March. March. Uh, who are you voting for, Trump or Kamala? Uh, Kamala. Why Kamala? Por qué Kamala? Porque veo muchas oportunidades en ella y, y, y está más con los inmigrantes que Trump. Do you have a plan to vote on November 5th? Eh, estoy en duda. Estoy la de duda. Did somebody tell you that you can vote at the hotel? Mm, o sea, por ahí me dijeron unas referencias que yo, yo puedo, como inmigrante podía votar. So that's why I'm here, because everyone is in the dark about this. The Supreme Court just ruled that proof of citizenship is required to vote in Arizona, but what about everywhere else? When Juan says that he's heard he can vote as a migrant, that's enough to sway an election. However, just having that concern makes you a bigot, so welcome to the club. What are they giving you in New York? Are you getting $1,400 a month? Eh, lo que es eh, dinero, no. O sea, me están ayudando con lo que es la, la ayuda That's del... Wild. They're helping you with a place to sleep, but we got thousands, not thousands, maybe millions of people on the street right now, homeless, born as Americans, and they sitting there and been sitting there for years with no help from the government. But yet, you're an immigrant into a into a whole another country, and they helping you with a place to sleep. And from the beginning of this video, I, I kind of skipped to this part because I want I, I didn't really care for the intro. But in the beginning of this video that we're watching right now, apparently some of these people that are that that are immigrants are uh, sleeping in four star hotels in New York. Four star hotels, fam. That junk is wild to me. They care more about immigrants than they care about the American people. That's like I said, it's a lot of them. In New York right now, because this is New York, it's a lot of them in New York right now on the streets, homeless, born as American citizens, can't get not a single dime in their pocket. But yet, man, that, bro, that just pissed me off. That's wild. That's why the, it's like the more you know, bro, about what the government is doing, man, this, that junk is crazy. And of course, vote for Kamala. How can you even vote? You're not even an American citizen. Like, so we got people that's not American citizens that's able to vote in certain in certain states? Huh? And, and then the bad thing about it, they're going to vote for, for they're going to vote for Kamala because because number one, she's she's for these type of people. She's for people that's not in this country. That's who she's for. She's not for the people that's in this country that was raised in this country that was born as American citizens. She's not for us. She's for the immigrants. She's for people that's from a whole nother country. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna let the video finish to get my thoughts at the end, bro. This, this, that junk is wild. Residencia. How long can you stay here for? Cuando me, cuando el gobierno me, me, me diga que me pueda quedar y, y arregle mi situación con con me, con la situación del asilo y la residencia, yo yo me quedo aquí por mis hijas. Tú sabes que uno viene aquí por el futuro de sus hijos. Ya uno ya ha vivido, pero las los niños no. Yeah, y aquí so. es un buen, un buen vivir, un buen futuro para ella, es lo importante. And how did you get to America? Eh, por frontera en México me entré, o sea, What was the process like? Muy duro, como todos los inmigrantes que, que vienen de, de, de frontera. Vine por México, no tengo por de vía terrestre, se entrega y, y a ver qué es, lo que Dios quiera, pues, ¿no? Lo que, como todo inmigrante, ¿no? Como llega, por, 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 por lo que es tierra, no por México. He walked. He walked through the, through the, yeah, through the... Did you did you talk to any border security, anyone like that? No, cuando cuando pasamos México a Estados Unidos, obviamente ahí nos nos abordó la la patrulla y uno se entrega, pues, ¿no? So you spoke to no one, okay? How did you know you could get to New York? How did you get to New York? Eh, eh, por ejemplo, en México pasé a Texas y Texas de ahí me recibió Lice, tuve unos días y ahí me por por medio de Fui más eh, por medio de bus a un refugio y ahí ya pasé a, a, en avión a Nueva York. It's interesting that Juan said airplane because we heard that it's mostly buses, although there was a program under the Biden administration that did fly in 400,000 migrants. 
Juan walked through the southern border, so his flight was domestic. Now, we only know about a program that flies in migrants from California to Texas, costing taxpayers $80,000 per flight. So one state taking in migrants doesn't want them, so they send them to another state that also doesn't want them, in which case they end up in New York. So your tax money is essentially being thrown in the furnace. How did you hear and when did you hear that it was um, safe to come to America through the southern border without any trouble? O sea, no o sea, yo todo, toda la persona que inmigra sabe que no es seguro en México. Eso es muy peligroso, pero uno hace lo posible por sus hijos, cuando porque uno en su país no 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 puede estarlo, entonces uno arriesga eso. Están en Estados Unidos yo ya me siento seguro, pues. At the hotel, do you hear from people who will help you go and vote? Are there buses that will bring you to the polls, things like that? No. O sea, yo 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 llegué donde un familiar, ¿no? Donde me, donde me dieron las manos, pero cierto tiempo, ¿no? Entonces ya después, como que se estaba poniendo pesado el asunto de vivir ahí, tuve que buscar la ayuda. Entonces me hablaron de, de la ayuda que están dando en Nueva York, por, por los lo Chester y todo eso. Entonces yo apliqué y gracias a Dios me ayudaron. Okay, do you have a driver's license? No, pero estoy en eso. La quiero sacar. No, por falta de dinero. Did they tell you that you need any sort of identification to vote? Yo, claro, como todo país, yo tengo mi 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 identificación aquí, pero la 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 de la ciudad. Te dejan votar con esa identificación? Tendrá que no no tengo idea, pero tendré que consultarlo. He doesn't know. He has to consult with someone to figure out if he's allowed to do it with his license because it's he has a. Tengo la ID aquí. Yeah, he has a state ID, but he doesn't know if he can vote. Okay, how did you get your ID? ¿Cómo conseguiste la ID? Eh, me, me sacaron una cita por medio de una organización, asistí y me, y me demoraron 15 días y me la entregaron. What is your name? Juan. Juan. Juan, Juan, sí. Juan thank you. Yeah, thank you, sir. Thank you. Where are you from? De dónde eres? De Colombia. De Colombia. Cool. When did you know that you could come to America? What year? Eh, en el 2022. Are you voting for uh, Trump or Kamala? Eh, Kamala. Kamala, nice. Why do you want Kamala? ¿Y por qué Kamala? Porque pienso que, que o pensamos que los demócratas nos ayudan más a nosotros, a la comunidad migrante, a los hispanos. What do you do for work? Deliveries. Deliveries? Nice. Did you have a driver's license from where you're from or you got one when you got here? Yo tengo licencia de Nueva York. Are you planning to vote on election day, November 5th? No puedo todavía. Okay, why can't you? ¿Por qué? Porque no tengo documentos. He can't vote. So, yeah, not right now. Okay. Why? Wait. So you have to have the documents there. So then the other guy said that he heard that you. I don't know. Look, I'm still trying to figure out what's going on. Honestly, okay. Like I don't. Like can you? I mean, maybe y'all can let me know in the comment section below. You know what I'm saying? I'm still doing research on these type of things. But so as a as an immigrant from another country, you can or you cannot vote. Because he's saying you can't, but the other guy. From if I'm not mistaken, he said that you know he heard that he can vote. I don't know. I'm still I'm still trying to figure things out. Y'all let me know in the comment section below whether or not which one is true. Like, can they vote? Can they not vote? Do they got the Do they gotta have documents and identification, or can they just just vote? You know what I'm saying? Because the first thing he said was he voting for Kamala. So I'm just curious. Like, okay, I I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comment section below what y'all think. Why can't you? Okay. Porque no tengo documentos, o sea, no soy, o sea, somos legal, pero no tenemos la, la permanente ni la ciudadanía. Who told you that? No sé, no sabía. Nosotros podemos votar. So for New York local elections, you can just vote with a driver's license, but it's a bit wow. different for presidential elections. For presidential elections, you must be a U.S. citizen. That's why you see Elon say things like they are importing voters when a large part of the Democrat policy is to create a faster path to U.S. citizenship for migrants. Also remember that the Supreme Court case in Arizona was about enforcing the already existing U.S. citizenship law for voting, and a law is only a law if it's being enforced. I mean, just think about it. Why is the SAVE Act so imperative to get done before this election if this wasn't a problem? And why does almost every Democrat vote against it? I learned from living here that the people dressed up in costumes in Times Square are often migrants. Let's see if they're voting. Deadpool, what's going on, man? What's going on, dude? I love the outfit. It's a hell of an outfit. Um, I speak little English, sorry. Oh, no worries, no worries. Oh, no? Um, okay. we're, we're doing a YouTube video. You guys look good. You guys look great. Do you speak English? Do you, do you speak English? No. No? 
guys don't speak English. You guys want Trump or Kamala to win? It's big, uh, it's lovely, it's lovely. Do you want Trump or Kamala to win? Oh! Mm. Uh, the, the other, the other person, not Trump. Not Trump? No. The, the, the other the person? Lady. The lady. Yeah, yeah. Do you know the lady's name? Uh, yeah, I don't remember, but I, I know, I don't, I see. You see her? Uh, Oh, yeah. ¿Español? ¿Español? Ah, oh, perfect. <laughs> okay. Dime el español. Porque, digo, porque dime. Trump ya ha sido presidente y bueno, creo que ya, ya, eh, ya ha gobernado, ¿no? Ya ha gobernado el, el tiempo y ha hecho lo que, lo que todos ya hemos visto, ¿no? Y ha que dar la oportunidad a una mujer que sea presidente. So you don't like what Trump did? Eh, no. no. What, what was wrong with what he did? Eh, bueno, que más que todo para, para los migrantes, pues, ¿no? Yeah, lo negativo que lo que dijo que que piensa hacer la mayor deportación en la historia de Estados Unidos. Where are you from? Eh, Perú. Perú. How did you get to America? Eh, con visa de estudiante. Yeah, but uh, plane, a bus, to, through the border. Which border? Ah, avión, avión. Okay. Is there under a certain program? When was this? Ah, hace dos años. Dos años. Two years ago. Hearing that a lot. Okay, cool. Um, so, is this your first job in New York, being Deadpool? Sí, a veces, eh, mis tiempos libres, ¿no? Mis tiempos libres. En mis tiempos libres. Yeah. Ajá. What do you do for your main job? Eh, me tomo fotos con personas y las personas me apoyan con lo que pueden. ¿Esto es lo único trabajo? Eh, por el momento, sí. Did the government help you at all when you arrived? Any money, shelter? Que si el gobierno te ayudó, te dio plata, no, no, te dio no. casa, nada. No, no. Nothing. Okay. Um, are you going to go vote in November 5th? No, no, no. Any of your friends? Si tus amigos van a votar. Eh, sí, algunos. ¿Ah? Kamala. Kamala, Kamala. Okay, very cool, very yeah, cool. Kamala. Okay, Kamala. so Kamala. you love you love Kamala. <laughs> yeah. Are you gonna try to figure out a way to vote? Eh, sí me interesa, pero creo que eso va a tomar años, ¿no? Este, volver eh, ciudadano. Why it's, why it's gonna take years to gain to gain what? What do you need to vote? What are they telling you? Bueno, eh, por los medios legales que se necesita para para volverse uno ciudadano, ¿no? Este. The one that examined the ciudadanía. See, I feel like all that should happen before you come over to this country. Man, you know it's certain countries that we cannot even go to, bro, as Americans. Like it, it it's a it's a process and we should obey that process. You know what I'm saying? But to just I feel like just to allow people from other countries just to come over and you literally take up all I've been without being no type of citizen. No type of citizen whatsoever. I don't I, I look, bro. I don't find like I don't think that's okay. I don't think that's okay. And I know that people be like, well, you know, you gotta love people, you gotta help people. You, but you should care about yours first. You should care about your country first. Like at the end of the day, I made this example in like a few videos ago, and I'm making it right now. You know what I'm saying? If you, if your family is going through a situation, and then your friend is going through a situation, are you gonna take care of your friend first, or are you gonna take care of your family first? Nine times out of ten, which I hope is really ten, ten times out of ten, you're going to take care of your family first, and then you'll focus on your friend. You know what I'm saying? That's how America should be. It should be taking care of the American citizens first, because you got veterans that's homeless. You got just homeless people that's just, just out here homeless, whatever. Overall, you got a lot of homeless people out here that cannot get no help from the government, but yet... You have migrants who are getting help from the governments. $12 billion on migrants. That's how much New York spent. $12 billion on migrants, bro. Are you serious? Like, when can we spend $12 billion on homeless people to get them off the streets, to bring them into four-star hotels? Like, four-star hotels is crazy to me, bro. Like, come on, man. Este, que te la ciudadanía. Anyone from the government telling you that you need these papers? How do you know that you need these papers? Eh, bueno, por, por los videos en TikTok que uno ve, por YouTube, ¿no? Social media. Por la información que uno ve en redes sociales. Yeah. Social media told you. Okay, awesome. Deadpool, thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. Gracias. So, if you could vote, you'd vote for Kamala. Yeah. Why Kamala? No, maybe he's good, he's good with the immigrant. Yeah. yeah, where are you from? He's not, I'm from Burkina Faso. Where? Burkina Faso. Cool. How did yeah. you get to America? Uh, I come from the border. Southern? Or where? Uh, Which border? The Mexico? Yeah, Mexico. Mexico? Yeah. What was the process like getting here? Like, did you have a lot of trouble getting to America? Uh, not a lot. Not a lot of trouble? No. On the way, 
I got in many trouble, but inside America, inside America. yeah, it's all good. So when you arrived to the border, like when you arrived to the border, what happened? Did you run into a lot of border security, anything like that? Yeah, I, I, really, uh, I went with the border security. I, I passed four, four days. So four days. you were there for four days? Yeah. What did they ask? Did they ask you any questions, anything like that? Yeah, I made a lot of questions. What did they ask you? But I don't think I can speak about it here. Oh, it's okay. What did they yeah. ask you? Yeah, I don't think I can speak about it here because... Uh, Why do you think that? Uh, I, I'm on the process now, so I, I can speak about it. So you don't have, like, papers yet? Uh, no, I don't have papers yet. I'm waiting for the process. But do they help you with shelter at all? Do they give you any money to help you, the government? No, any money. Okay. So you arrived to the border and they brought you to New York right away after the four days? They sent you to New York, is that right? After the four days, uh, they give you the way to go inside. But I buy, I buy, I'm buying my ticket by my friend who is living here. My friend, my friend who is living here helped me to buy a ticket from the border to New York. So you had a friend that already lived in New York yeah. and, he, and he hooked you up? He helped you? Yeah. Okay. So you're delivering for a living, yeah. right? Okay, how did you get this job if you don't have papers? What was the process like? I have the working permit. You have the working permits? Yeah. Okay, where did you get but those? I'm not, but I'm not the resident. How did you get a working permits when you got here? What was that process like? I applied for asylum. You, you applied as soon as you got here? Yeah, I applied for asylum and I'm waiting for the process. Okay, so which company do you deliver for? Grubhub? Yeah, or all, all of them? Yeah, I have Grubhub, I have DoorDash, but right now I'm delivering for Grubhub. I'm really excited to learn why he's doing food delivery because all around New York City you see bikes everywhere on the sidewalk. It's the most picked job for migrants, so let's see why. Okay. Yeah. And do you have friends that came with you from the southern border that are here now? Not from the same country like me, but we meet on the way. Okay. Yeah, I have friends that, that I meet at uh, Colombia and we came okay. together. Cool. So you arrived with did you arrive with money to help you get started here, or did you start here with nothing? Because the government sounds like they didn't help you with any money. So. I started with nothing. Started with nothing. Yeah. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. So you got the work permits, right? Yeah. What was the process like to get a work permit? Uh, uh, first time, I need to, you need to apply for asylum through a, a lawyer. So you need to get a lawyer who can help you uh, make the papers all to apply for the asylum. How did you get a lawyer if you didn't have any money? Did the government supply you with one? There is a, there is a lawyer who can help immigrant who came from the border. Uh, free. When, when did, so he, so the lawyer arrived to the border and met with you? No, they give you uh, the lawyer's address at the border. When you get here, you go to them. A lawyer in Manhattan? No, not in Manhattan. In New York. There are many lawyers in Like the Bronx or? Brooklyn. Okay. Yeah, in the Bronx, in Manhattan, yeah, there are many lawyers. They will give you, at the border, they will give you an ad some address of uh, some lawyers. Who can and everyone people. you know did that? Everyone everyone meets with a lawyer? Or is that is that standard? Every Everyone who passed from the border have to, to, to have a lawyer. Okay. So, Grubhub, DoorDash, Los what was it? What made you want to work for Grubhub and DoorDash versus somewhere else? Excuse me. Uh, why food delivery? Asking your why, why food delivery? Yeah, yeah, because exactly. I don't have experience for any for any job here. I have experience from my country, but here it's not working. Okay. Yeah. So I would say that I've, I've spoken to a few people who have also come here, mm -hmm. and they do food delivery as well. Why do you think that? food delivery is the choice. You mentioned that you don't have skills, but is it easier to get a job like through the application process for DoorDash? Is it like, what was the process like to it's apply? Not, it's not uh, uh, the process to apply for DoorDash and, and other... Yeah, what's the process like to apply? No, it's not It's not too hard. It's, it's, it's easy. First time you need a working permit and the security social number. If you have it, uh, you go online, you download the app and you apply. From the app. Do you speak to anyone from the company before you start delivering? Uh, you have to mail it, mail them. If you apply, you have to mail them, and they will do a background check through your social security number, and after that, it's okay. So you get a social security number when you arrive to the border. They give you one. No, after I apply for asylum, I get a social security number. I see. Yeah. Okay. So. You apply for DoorDash, you have the work permit and the social security number. How long do you have to wait until you get a job at, at one of these food delivery companies? Uh, 
How long do I wait for for the application? How long does it take? Once you applied, how long does it take to hear back from the company? Around for the app is like uh, one week. So you apply for this company. You hear seven days later after you apply for Grubhub, you hear back and they say yes, you're in. You don't have to for, speak to us. Grubhub specially, they put you on waiting list, so you have to wait. Okay. Maybe three months after they get you in. So Grubhub is harder to get into than the other ones. Grubhub is very hard. What's the easiest one to get into? I think Dorash. Do you want Trump or Kamala Harris to win? Which one? <laughs> I don't know. I can't vote. I, I'm not a citizen. Why can't you vote? Have you checked to see if you can vote? Mm -hmm. I decided to go back to where this all began, the Roosevelt Hotel, even just to interview migrants that were waiting outside. I noticed a lot of private security that were guarding the entrance, so I just had a simple question. How many migrants a day come in? What were you watching? Just like roughly, would you say? Rough, roughly, how many? Oh yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Well, it's pretty busy during the day. But yeah, but you're standing here, so would you say like 20, 30, 40? Yeah, I wouldn't be able to let you know. I couldn't tell you a lot because uh, it's, it's being busy a lot. I'm out here all day. I can't. Right. You'd say like a hundred. Hundreds, yeah. So hundreds, you would say? Maybe. I, I don't know yet. Oh, um, um, right. Oh, yeah, you can film this. So we can see that the front entrance was completely closed off, but the migrants come through this entrance right here. Hey, what's going on, guys? What's up? I'm, I'm doing a documentary on New York. I saw you doing a haircut. That's awesome. Can I ask you a question? One question, yes. Yeah. No, that's right. Okay. Yeah, but I mean literally, bro. You don't know, I'm not speaking. Uh, he speaks hey, Spanish. Spanish. No, no, no. Okay. Trump or Kamala Harris, which one are you voting for? Okay. Trump or Kamala? <laughs> Bueno, yo no no tengo mucho tiempo acá, pero Trump. Trump. Why Trump? Porque no sé, dicen que la economía es mejor con él y hay más oportunidades con él, ¿no? When did you come to America? Venezuela. Casi ya ocho meses de Eight months. Okay. Ah, esa es su página. No es mía, es de él. Él me contactó. Es la primera vez que yo lo veo. Okay, temas sociales. Oh, watch out, watch out. Where are you from? I'm from Colombia. Nice. What's your name? My name is Johan. Nice. I'm nice. Nate. Nice so to we're meet at uh, 32nd and 5th. And this is your store? Yeah. Nice. Awesome. When did you come to New York? And did you go to the southern border? Yeah. The, the Mexico. How did you hear that it was good to come to America at that time? It's obvio, uh, the American dream and all time is better America. When did you set up shop here? Eh, estoy trabajando, ya yo trabajando acá ya un año. And that's when you came here? One year ago? No, trabajé, he tenido diferentes trabajos. Por la temporada, depende de la temporada, si es verano, invierno. Oh, like jobs with seasons. What did you do for work before you opened up the shop? Antes de esto, ¿qué hiciste? Eh, carpenter. Carpenter, cool. Yeah. So I see you have a Trump hat, but there's no Kamala hat. Where do you get the hats from, and why? Why only Trump? Yeah. Porque las gorras de Kamala no se venden tanto como las de Trump, y only for the business. So the Trump hats sell more in New York. Yeah. The people buy more Trump hats. Aunque falta una que otra persona que me pide de Kamala, pero he traído de Kamala y sí, solo una docena de gorras me ha durado un mes. De Donald Trump me dura tres, cuatro días. How often do you get these shipments? Let's pull up one of those Trump hats. Let's, let's show the people the Trump hat. So how, how many of these do you sell a, a month? Five bucks uh, each. ¿Cuánto cada mes? Uy, no sabría la cantidad exacta. Más o menos diez, Ma diez. Por ahí unas 10 docenas yes. al mes. Well, Hay uh, que, pues, resalto que las que los compran son ya son personas de edad. Okay. Y los jóvenes piden más de Kamala. And where does this everything come from? All this is China. So you are not planning to vote on November 5th? Eh, pues es, me gustaría votar, pero pues por el detalle de los documentos, yo estoy en mi proceso. Mm -hmm. Y pues como hasta ahora llevo dos años, pues se me demora para que me lleguen mis documentos para que yo pueda poder votar. En el momento, pues, me gustaría votar por Kamala. What documents do you need to get to, in order to vote for her? Eh, pues estoy en el proceso de, de asilo migratorio. Estoy en el proceso de asilo migratorio, por lo que me crucé frontera, yeah, que no okay. puedo volver a mi país porque me van a matar. What was the process like getting here? Un éxodo. <laughs> porque, pues, yo, yo soy de Colombia. 
y tuve que emigrar pues por problemas allá internos de que me amenazaron. Did the government here give you any trouble when you got here? Eh, pues cuando llegué acá, eh, pues me crucé eh, lo que es el río Bravo y migración, pues obviamente, pues me tomaron el proceso de eh, con migración, de, bueno, me crucé y con Estados Unidos me tocó dar mi versión, contaron mis hechos y ellos me dieron permiso de cruzar. So you arrived, there was no border security, did you just walk right through? Yeah. There was border security? Or yeah, no? yeah. Lots of border security. Okay, what, duré, did, what yo, did they tell you? Pues yo duré en un, en esos, eh, ¿cómo se dice? Refugios yeah. de allá de, en, en, en Texas, duré un mes encerrado. Okay. Sin teléfono, sin te no technology. I think, I think, I think we're helping. Look at this. I've never seen this many people come up to. <laughs> Maybe that's not why we're not getting kicked out. <laughs> so they were tourists. They were from France. Do is it mostly? Uh, which country buys from you the most? Italian people, Spain people, and um, gente de Europa. Yeah, Europeans. Okay. Yeah. So you were talking about you arrived to Texas and you lived without internet, phone, all those things. Um, was that very, very difficult? Un mes sin hablar con mi familia, sin comunicarme. Si yo no sabía si yo estaba vivo, se me había pasado algo. Wow. Was it a shelter? Was it what exactly was the living situation? Shelter. One shelter. O sea, eh, la patrulla fronteriza eh, está ahí con sus patrullas ahí. Y cuando pues uno ve y lo ven a uno cruzar, pues lo arrestaban a uno y se lo llevaban para esos shelters. Y ahí pues esposados y todo, pues comenzaban a tomar tus datos y a esperar a organizarte en un cuarto. How did you know you could get to New York? Was the plan always to go to New York or anywhere in America? Para mí mi plan es vivir acá en América, sacar mis documentos, ser legal, eh, convertirme en americano, Nueva York porque no tengo, no, o sea, nos vinimos para acá porque solo teníamos un amigo acá, no en, en Estados Unidos, yeah. no tenía nadie más, nadie más. Okay, so you had family working in New York already? One, one friend. One friend? Yeah, only one friend. Y viajé y él me recibió y me ayudó por uno o dos meses y ya... Independent. For a couple months and then he got on his feet. Did the government help you at all when you got to New York? Did they give you money? Did they give you shelter when you arrived to New York? Solo, solo en Texas que me tomaron mis datos y doy mi, doy mi, mi versión de por qué me iban a matar con mis pruebas. Yo tenía mis pruebas, mis estudios y, to, y todo eso se me perdió. So we've heard from some people that they get a check from the government each month. Have you heard the same thing that other migrants who come they get a, a check? Have you heard about something like that? Sí, lo escuché por redes sociales eh, que eso es por parte del de alcalde de acá en New York, pero es para las personas que viven en los refugios en shelter. And what, were, were they full? How come they couldn't help you? Did they give you a reason of why they couldn't help you more? Shelter, es que no shelter. ¿Cómo te puedo explicar? No. Eh, la gente que está allá, ¿cómo te puedo explicar? Es para los más necesitados, los que de pronto no tienen trabajo o algo. Pero hay gente, hay gente que abusa, que se está allá solo por no pagar una renta, por no querer sal salir adelante, por ser mantenidos del gobierno y yo no me, yo no, no me considero así. Two more questions. Yeah. Um, so, how did you get to New York? Did they, did they drive you in a bus or did you go on a plane? Bus. Nos, pues el bus de, de Monterrey hasta la hasta Piedras Negras, que es un pueblo fronterizo, y ahí nos bajamos en el bus y nos cruzamos. Uh, who do you prefer, Trump or Kamala? Uy, I'm, I'm immigrant, you know, yeah. but for me it's complicated, you know, man, for the, the situation, the, my papers, my family, the papers, eh? for my family, for my husband. You know, but for me, for immigrant, it's better Kamala, you know. Yeah. And it's just because of that? Is there anything that you like about her? Any of their policies besides besides that? Es que ella es la, como, de la misma escuela, se puede decir, de Joe Biden. Y Joe Biden, pues, nos ayudó mucho a los migrantes.
After doing these interviews, it was clear that the migrants I spoke to want to do things legally, and as far as I can see, they are not technically allowed to vote. I still don't know if that will be enforced or if the pathway to citizenship will change. This was a special edition of The Nate Friedman Show, and there's another episode on your screen. Alright, so, um, I don't know, how y'all feel about this, you know what I'm saying? It was real interesting. You know what I'm saying? Because obviously I'm still learning more about the whole migrant thing. It's just trying to figure out the like what what precautions or what things do they have to take in order to become a legal citizen and not just coming straight over here with no paperwork, with no documentation and all these different things. And I just really want to know, like, was our government actually helping the, the migrants that, that was coming to this country and going to the different states in this country without helping the people of America citizenship citizenship first? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't know, but I guess some people are getting the, the money a month from the government and things like that. You know what I'm saying? But I guess it is like, I, I guess sort of a process or something like that, because some people say they've been there for like two, some years. Um, and they had no, you know what I'm saying? They, they still working on documentation or they still can't vote because they have no type of citizenship or no identification or things like that. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. This is like, look, I'm going to be honest with you guys. This is like this channel, both my channels. I have two channels. I have a podcast channel. That wasn't a plug, but hey, I can go subscribe. You feel me? But I got a podcast channel and I got this channel. Both of my channels are for me to learn. This is not saying that I know everything in a book. Y'all, I'm 21. I'm just now getting to politics. I promise you. Like, I, this is not something that like, I already knew. Like, going in high school and everything, like, bro, I didn't care about who was in office. But now that I'm 21 and I'm able to vote, and you know what I'm saying? I want to see this country be better because I'm starting to, I'm starting to see that who you vote for does affect your life, like your life, like your livelihood. You know what I'm saying? Now, number one, I put my faith in Jesus Christ first. So I will always be straight no matter what. But I always want to know, like, because I, I remember when Trump was in office and how things were. And then I remember when Biden got to office, how things done become like they done became because it's like, bro, this junk is terrible. You know what I'm saying? But Y'all let me know in the comment section below how y'all feel about the whole uh, migrant situation. You know what I'm saying? Like some of these, it was good to hear from people that came from another country talk about like the process of coming over to the border and things like that. And things like, you know what I'm saying? Just different things that like, I didn't know and maybe you guys didn't know. So hopefully, no matter how old you are, hopefully you learn from this video just as much as I learned from this video. And let me know in the comment section below, do y'all like this type of style of video that I'm doing? Like, just listening to the video without interrupting it too much, but trying to get an understanding for the video, understand where who who's doing the video and where he's coming from. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all let me know. And also, who y'all voting for, Trump or Kamala, in the comment section below, man. Y'all let me know. Uh, without further ado, hit the like button, subscribe to no post notifications. It's been your boy, Depan. I love each and every one of y'all. Subscribe to the podcast channel and send the link to Chris below. It's really not. I'm lying. But it's the Say Yes podcast. Y'all can go ahead and look it up. It, it'll pop right up. You know what I'm saying? So without further ado, man, it's been your boy, Depan. I love each other one of y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.